Okay, my name is Shavonik Edwards. Um, I'm the estate manager for Howardson's Estate, formerly known as Caribel Batik. Um, what we're creating or what we're trying to do today is to sell an excursion to not only our guests but also to our local persons. Of course, as we go along, you're going to see what we offer right here for you at Howardson's Estate. Now, there's a lot of history in this place. First, when you look at the building, you see a lot of history. So can you give us a little bit of the history? Yeah, the building is actually a very old building. It is 150 years old, formerly owned by Dr. Howlton. Um, we do have four layers. We do have the attic. We have two middle floors and also we do have the basement. Of course, the middle floor is where we do all of our selling of our merchandise to our customers and our guests. Um, the building also is 800 feet above sea level, so definitely we always tell our guests if there is a tsunami, you're definitely safe. So feel free to come on down and experience that with us. And basically, it's, it's a very old building, so then now it's very warm, very welcoming. Also, we have a great staff which welcomes you, and of course, we'll be more than happy to take you around the building and tell, give you more history about it. Things to look forward to, to, to at Howard Sense Estate is our restaurant. A reggae, a reggae grill over at um, Point Seraphine. We're going to be having one here also. Our Iri bar is going to be here also. We're going to be having chocolate. And like I said, the coconuts, the chocolate making, we're going to be having all of these things here. So this is something for you to look forward to. Now we know the place was known as Caribbean Batik and it, was, it has a strong tradition with the Batik as well. So can you, is that still evident here? And can we find it if we walk through this place? So definitely we do lots of pieces all well basically all of our items in the store is actually batik made as you could see my gilet was actually made for me today also we do have my assistant tara in some batik and all of my staff they were in batik right now of course i'd love to walk you through and of course you would be you can see for yourself how the batik is being made right here at caribel batik um we do have dress lens you name it every single thing we do have it in batik for you so St. Lucians and other visitors who are willing to come, they, just, they can show up or they have to make appointments to reach here? Well, no. The door is open for everybody. We try to encourage as many local places as possible and also visitors. So definitely, as I mentioned, we're opening the bar and the restaurant. So definitely, I'd welcome our local people to come on down, shop, and also to purchase some of our lovely batik pieces. We have um, items I see ranging from potholders to almost everything you need here. Every single thing. So we do have a little bit of home and gardening. We do have a little bit of souvenirs to take back home. And also bags, you name it, we do have it right here for you. Also, if we do not have it, we do have our sister branches. Of course, you just make a call and then we'll be able to get that for you. A lot of the items you have, sorry, uh, branded St. Lucia as well. I noticed the St. Lucian branded stuff. Yeah, so all of our items are actually St. Lucian made. So definitely you come on down. We do have coconut bags made out of coconut. So definitely you'd be get, you would be able to get that. Also, when I spoke about other sister branches, we do not have another Caribbean Batik in St. Lucia. But of course, we are one of the branches of Sea Island Cotton. So of course, you'd be able to get majority of the items that you get here. You'd be able to get them at some of the at some of our Sea Island cotton shops. Definitely the batik is only at Caribbean Batik, but the bags and some other stuff, you'd be able to get that over at our sister branches. Finally, just give us an idea of your, your location. Okay, our location is up at Mount Fortune, um, day four, better known, and we are now called Howerton's Estate. For many persons, they know us as Caribbean Batik, but as of today, our relaunch, we're gonna be changing our name over to Howerton's Estate.